let's check this out. You are mentioning that this is based on what is National Geographic footage. I would love to see that footage. Curious what is going on. Because my first impression watching this, a couple things. A, uh, Crocodile seems very, very slow. They're, they're usually really fast at the moment. And also the thing is, I will probably get this guy underwater. Or maybe just the nose. The nostrils are, are showing. Then shoots up. For a bigger surprise, I'd be surprised. <laughs> this little creature goes like, "Yeah, it could be fine." Um, but also for the viewer, it could be kind of interesting to see. Uh, you know, maybe you can drink. I mean, I'm adding stuff. I know you don't have to do that. I'm just saying it could be kind of neat to see. Uh, down here, drinking. Head goes up. A couple little steps. All the while, the nostrils come closer. Then it shoots up. But, you know, I, I totally understand if you don't want to change this. But the main thing is that the attack seems really, really slow. Um, I'm also surprised that this reaction doesn't come sooner. You would think that if this is around here, and I'm imagining the rest is underwater, so just the, the head comes out here, there's going to be water splashing. That creature is so, not to use it, but it's so tuned in to attacks like that, there would be, you know, there could be an immediate... Uh, jolt back, head back, just some bigger reaction. Grabs it anyway. This is neat. I mean, it's sad to say, but, you know, creature's suffering. But that movement while it's being bitten, sure. Um, here it just seems like the, the crocodile is very stiff. Like this movement up seems to be mostly in one axis going up and kind of turning over while kind of sitting here nothing's moving it kind of pivots off the neck turns around so it, to me it feels like even if this would be the footage i think for i mean it's, it's horrible to say for entertainment value i mean it all depends what this is for right if you just want to replicate the footage then that's a different thing but for me in terms of adding things and contrast and all kind of stuff like i said up underwater just the nostrils are coming forward and you can always have some wood debris and some other stuff flowing maybe this way or other way so there's always stuff moving so you think that the nostrils are kind of part of the other stuff that's moving it would just extends the surface so you get a nice actual horizon you can put some trees just here maybe i don't know whatever you want to do but it could be kind of neat to just have stuff floating so you think nostrils are part of it then the sudden surprise but once you're here i would do a classic i would say classic i'm assuming a crocodile is doing that and not an alligator or vice versa there is my limit of crocodile alligator knowledge but uh, a classic thing is that they turn around so as he does this it would turn 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 and then you know give this give this more some crazy action for a, a bigger contrasting moment and then it can go underwater and then you can always at the end of that come up again like just the face comes up and ah, you'll yell and then one last dunk on the water. I mean, that could be something. And it could be cool some, once it gets into here, some handheld camera that kind of follows the action, kind of pans over this way. That would be kind of neat. But that is absolutely up to you. Um, but again, I would say email me, let me know about the National Geographic footage. I'm, I'm curious what that looks like. And then let me know what your intentions are if you just want to use it as you know um, somewhat inspiration and then add things to it um do you want to keep this photo reel in terms of the footage and the movements right is the animation going to be photo reel or do you want to make this a bit more stylized um those are all questions that i would think about now because this is still in, in a fairly rough stage you still have the you know the option to change your timing and change motion so it fits that style before you get too far into it all right, that's it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.